A list of guitar picks used by famous guitarists? Sure, great question. I would love to answer that. Funny, I've got the list right here. Um, so, first up, Jimmy Page. Nylon Herco Flex Silver 75. I don't know why it's called a Silver 75. They were 1.01 .01 millimeters thick. Eddie Van Halen did a lot of experimenting with guitar picks over the years, but he was also reportedly a Herco Flex nylon user and also liked Dunlop Max Grip uh, 0.6 millimeter picks. I know that he was experimenting with, back in the day, gluing uh, sandpaper to his picks. Before people had started to put texture on their picks, he was doing that. Les Paul, also someone who did that. Um, they both kind of thought of that separately. David Gilmore, another nylon Herco Flex user. John Frushanti, orange Dunlop Tortex, 0.6 mil. These have all been the standard 351 guitar pick shape. But let me stop you there before you ask, what's a 351? The 351, this like classic guitar pick shape, was originally associated with Nick Lucas, an early 20th century singer and guitarist regarded by many to be the first to popularize playing the instrument with a plectrum or pick. It is a design that guitar pick industry pioneers the D'Andrea Company produced in the 1920s in collaboration with Nick Lucas. Moving on to Stevie Ray Vaughan, reportedly was a Fender Mediums user. These are about 0.71 millimeters thick. He would, though, not use the pointy edge, but would use the rounder back side fat edge. Hendrix, also reportedly a medium celluloid um, pick user. And I think a lot of guitarists like Hendrix in his era, they didn't have like Fender celluloid picks. They were branded um, by, you know, like Manny's for instance, was a uh, popular music store in New York that was frequented by a lot of people like Hendrix back in the day. Johnny Buckland of Coldplay, Dunlop Yellow Tortex, uh, and would use nylons uh, from time to time as well, 0.73 millimeter. Matt Bellamy, Muse, also Yellow Dunlop Tortex, 0.73 mil. Billy Joe Armstrong, uh, Green Day, would use the Green Dunlop Tortex, 0.88 and I guess has also used the yellow 0.73 millimeter picks. But other users of this same green pick, John Mayer, Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys, Mateus Asato, go look him up because he's amazing. In my research, I'm trying to find the most well-known, like this is what so-and-so used on this famous record that everyone loves, or you know, that they used the longest throughout their career or whatever. So Fender Heavy, one of my favorites that I've used for a long time. Great, great pick. Eric Clapton uses that. Uh, next we have John Resnick of the Goo Goo Dolls. Kind of a weird one. This is that, you know, tortilla chip shape. I've seen him use this a bunch over the years. The Edge uses some special picks that I believe are made in the Netherlands or Germany or something that they're called Herdem. So the blue Herdem nylon picks, they're 1.1 mil. They have this like grippy texture on them. They'll use like this back fatter edge of the pick and that grippy stuff gives it a particular chirp. Slash Dunlop Tortex uh, 1.14. This one is a Jazz 3XL. I think he uses more of the standard 351 shape, but the thickness is 1.14. Carlos Santana, back in his younger years when he was making some really famous uh, legendary stuff, he was using something similar to this. Uh, Fender 355 uh, is a is a variety of that. Moving on to Jerry Garcia and also Angus Young, Fender Extra Heavy. 
These are 1.2 millimeter. You'll notice that I'm going in order of thinnest, most bendy to thickest. If you don't know Tim Pierce, look him up. Really accomplished session player. Has played on like a ton of, you know, amazing like Grammy award winning and platinum records over the years by many huge artists. He reportedly likes to use, this one I cut myself into this shape, but he uses these really sharp edge picks. The ones that he has talked about using in his videos uh, are made by Dunlop. And he, he loves those for his electric playing. Another thing that he has said for like, um, I think for more acoustic stuff, when you want it to be a little bit of a warmer sound, he likes nylon, uh, 0.73 millimeters. Uh, typically, but again, again, check out his videos. Next, we've got Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa, Kirk Hammett, Peter Frampton, among others, all love the Jazz 3. If you don't know the Dunlop Jazz 3, they are 1.38 millimeters, they're nylon, um, typically. that You can get the XL-sized ones that are a little bit bigger. I actually really like the XLs because the Jazz 3s are really small. But um, really interesting pick. If you've never tried that out, you definitely should. Brian May, uh, if you don't know this, British Sixpence. Uh, a Sixpence is kind of, it's they're not, I don't think they're in circulation anymore in the UK, but, uh, and haven't been for a while. But they are a... Kind of the American equivalent of like similar size to a nickel, but they have the the ridges on the edge like a quarter does. Billy Gibbons, another one, last on our list, a Mexican peso. So there you go. That's my list. Uh, I've been doing a deep dive lately for some students and just for myself because uh, I thought you know, kind of cool to look at this list and think if I've never tried any of these picks and I really like one of these guitarists that were mentioned, you know, it doesn't cost much to go out and and get yourself a new pack of picks if there's something on this list that you're like, ooh, I really love that guitarist. I, I would like to try that. I never have before. So there you go. If you know anybody else, uh, that you would like to add to this list if you, you know what they play. Um, I would be curious to hear about it. So leave me a comment. Thanks. See ya.